mic okay. Hope I will not have the same problem like other with the microphone. Thanks for having me. It's a great pleasure to be here today with you and to talk about uh, technologies that can transform our cities. Uh, I will tell you a little bit more about Angle Planet, our company, who we are, what we do, and what are we trying to accomplish. So we are uh, a clean tech startup formed uh, in the beginning, officially formed in the beginning of this year. But our research, development, and uh, all testing that we had started long, long before that. Uh, the main event that motivated us to start this work and this journey was uh, Hurricane Sandy. Uh, as probably many of you recall, at that time, uh, during that devastated Hurricane Sandy, half of New York stayed without power for almost seven days. At that time, I lived in one of the affected areas, and I was so surprised that one of the greatest cities in the world did not have a proper alternative to, to, to provide its citizens with energy for their basic uh, needs. Uh, as you probably remember, it was really hard to, to have any energy to, to fulfill our needs for, like, charge the smartphone. As you can see behind me, this is the scene from West Village where people came up with some ideas to, to get at least some juice for their phones. Uh, after that, I was thinking uh, how that can happen in, the, in New York. The energy is all around us, especially clean energy and free energy is all around us. And then I figured the problem is that cities today, they do not have the right infrastructure in place that can harvest all that energy that is all around us. And then me and a couple of my team members, we decided to start working on this. We quit our jobs in different industries and we roll our sleeves and start working. Since then, we developed different products, such as portable, charging and lighting station powered by solar panel. This unit is designed to, uh, provide, to be deployed in the emergency and disaster recovery situations such as Sandy. After that, we also developed microgrid uh, uh, kind of products such as city charging station that also can be used to, to, for some other features as well as a smart solar bench that we believe every city should have in parks, city squares, etc. But there, the main product that I would like to talk about today and to present you in more details that is the one that we believe can definitely transform our cities. And that is uh, Angle Planet Streetlight. Angle Planet Streetlight is completely off the grid solution. It's not connected with the regular source of, or sources of energy. It's powered by solar energy and by your footsteps. Uh, so how does it work? Beneath each kinetic pad that are installed nearby each uh, Angle Planet streetlight, there are three microgenerators that create energy every time someone steps over them. Depending on the foot pressure, in other words, your weight, uh, one kinetic pad can create from four to eight watts. Then created, the created kinetic energy is combined with the solar energy and all that clean and free energy is stored into the batteries that each Angle Planet Smart Street Light has. Uh, after that, we use that st uh, clean energy to power LED light, to power Wi-Fi connection that each unit has, uh, to power charging station. We learned the lesson during the Sandy, so we want every pole to have embedded at least a couple of USB ports on that. We did that. And also, Smart sensors. We believe that data is the future, that having real-time data is critical to uh, make wise and smart decisions. City officials need to have data about what's going on and what's happening in the city. Angle Planet Streetlight provides that, uh, that, uh, that, those data. Uh, so maybe you ask why streetlights? Why we decided to disrupt and to try to revolutionize this industry that, I mean, it, if you look around self, you'll see how our streetlights look like today. So there are more than 300 million streetlights in the world and 50 million more will be installed in next uh, 10 years. They release today 
100 million tons of carbon dioxide per year. And they, they cost $40 billion per year just for energy. I mean, we are not including maintenance and all other associated costs with that. So it's a big, big uh, money. And just think about all that waste, both financially and environmentally, that with technology that we have today can be completely uh, uh, deleted. Uh, in addition, this is the Wall Street light map behind me. If you see all those dark places, uh, mainly in Africa and South America, people live there. People live there and they do not have the access to power grid and to street lights. Uh, approximately 1.4 billion people today live without power, without lights, in the dark. That's another reason that absolutely motivated us to, to start this journey. Uh, how we see this street lightning market? We see street lightning market the same way as a mobile phone market was 20 or 25 years ago. Uh, in the beginning, mobile phone uh, gave just one function, and that's phone calling, and that's it. It was revolutionary at that time uh, to have mobile phone that is wireless, that can, you can bring with, you, with yourself everywhere. But today, as you know, mobile phone is a multifunctional device that can provide so many features, and I don't want to remind you what you can do with your cell phone, you already know. With the same way we see the street light in the market. This is a street light that is almost everywhere in New York. Not, I'm not talking about some other countries, this is here in New York, today in 2016. And we think it's uh, about time to start changing this to smart and a useful street lightning. If you see this street light from the bottom up, it's completely useless. Not, I'm not just talking about the light. If you look at the entire uh, structure, it's useless. It's just used, the, all that metal and all that construction is used just to provide lightning. Uh, not just to mention that that lightning is completely inefficient, harmful for the environment, and very, very expensive. One of these lights costs city more than $250 per year count all the streetlights that you have right now, and you will see how much money is wasted that can be used in some different causes. We see and we hope that many of streetlights uh, will look like this, and that, we'll be, that we will be able to, uh, to, to provide cities across the globe with the technology that they need, the technology that can help them to harvest clean energy that I said in the beginning is all around us. We are energy. And we all can contribute that, but we need to have partners in the cities, in governments that can help us to contribute. If we don't have infrastructure in place, we cannot contribute as, a, as a persons, as individuals. Uh, I would like in the end to share several pictures from our very first installation that we just finalized in Las Vegas. This is the picture from downtown Las Vegas. I came two weeks ago from there. Uh, we had really good collaboration with uh, with the mayor of Las Vegas and the city of Las Vegas. They are planning to uh, rebuild entire downtown. And this pilot project, uh, they will test our solutions through this pilot project. And after that, they will decide if they want to, to adopt this technology. Uh, people love that. People are really engaging every day since we installed that. And uh, most importantly, it provides clear uh, and clean and, of course, free lightning all over the, the, the place. Next stop for us is New York City. We are uh, having meetings with the uh, DOT uh, in the following weeks, and we hope that we'll be able to bring uh, uh, this smart street lightning to New York streets, that, that all you can be uh, uh, actively engaged in this process. Of course, we can always start that journey from here, from Columbia University, since I saw that here at campus you have so many inefficient, harmful, and very expensive street lights. Thank you so much.